What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Mod Garage. We have another really, really exciting episode to you today. All about body work. Today we're going to be fixing another uh, imperfection on Noah's car and making it a little bit cleaner. So uh, let's just cut the shit and get right into it. I'll show you what we're up to. So one thing I really don't like about my car is this stupid trim here. Uh, I just personally don't think it looks that good when it's in good condition. And as you can see, mine is like pretty much falling off anyway. It just wants to be deleted. So I'm going to give it what it wants, I guess. Solved. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Alright, we're done. <laughs> Video over. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, we're uh yeah, we're just gonna rip them off. It is dented here. That's really sick. It's dented. Oh that's not today's problem. Well, kinda need to fix it before we weld in behind it. Alright, what's the next step? Next step, we're gonna have to take the interior apart so we can get because we're gonna be welding in uh, little patches. So obviously we need to be able to get behind. So the door card's got to come off and then all this plastic on the inside has got to come off as well. We've only done this, what? A thousand and four times. Yeah. See, I don't know why, but every single time we work on a Honda and an Integra, it seems that we're pulling off these plastics. And so we know them pretty well, but it is a little bit annoying. It's time to break some more clips. Hell yeah, brother. Get Freaking send it. Get these clips, bro. Okay. So we haven't been filming, but Noah's so versed in the Honda interior that, that took probably about a minute and a half, not even. And uh, it's about to come off. Any tips, tricks for new door card pullers? Just send it. Just send it? Just send it. Yeah, especially if it's a Honda, your clips are probably not that in there, and if they are, they're they're going to explode, yeah, but it's fine. There's literally only two screws, so it's really not that hard, and then just unclip all this, and that's all she wrote. Boom. I got this butt. Oh, your hands are gone. I got it. She can go here. All right. Get these clips out, Noah. Uh, just twist them 90 degrees, and then they just fall out like that. Already? Is that all of them? Uh, I like there's more. There's one. The farthest one in. That one's really hard to reach. I might be able to get it from out here. Yep. That was easy. Why the fuck are you using a Phillips? That's all I have in my hand. Wait, will it come out like that? This is bastard. Ugh. Nice. Devastated. Wasted. <laughs> hey guys, so we've gotten all the stuff out of the interior now. Getting ready to fill these holes up. So race car. Yeah, we're race car, ready to go. Stripped interior. Should I just leave it like this? Let me know in the comments. I think you should. I think you should get rid of all the shit. If I can leave it all at your house. No. Can I can't leave it at your house, house for one day? No. I'll I come get it. <laughs> Dude, it's not that much. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just leave it on your lawn. Yeah, perfect. My neighbors will love it. I bet. Alright guys, so as you just saw, I was just cutting out all of our little patches. I can't pick them up. <laughs> They're way too hot. Party's gonna die. So yeah, so we, so just yeah, we got them all here. Just some little, little rectangly boys. Perfect, yeah, we're just gonna clean them up with this file. And they'll be good to go. All right, so I fished the first little plate back in there and just have it held on by a magnet, as you can see. And I grinded down all the holes. So it's all a clean surface for welding. And now, just gotta weld her up.
Alrighty, so I finished cutting out a few more of these little uh, filler pieces, and Noah's just over here weld them all in. Let's see what he's got going on. Ah. <laughs> We got one, two, three, four, five, and he's on number six. Oof, of ten? Nine? Nine aside. Nine aside. Nice, well we're making good progress. It's definitely a little interesting and some slow work, but uh, yeah, we're getting her done. Right here, so I finished welding all the patches in, flapper disc them all down, and now I just laid the first coat of Bondo on, so you can take a look. So yeah, they're all covered up except for the one gem over there that we got to do something about. It's actually not as bad as I thought. I almost got it. No, you almost got her. Yeah, we'll we'll just clog that one up. This is the last one that's welded though. Uh, I wish we showed you the final product. We kind of just forgot to film. Got a little carried away and just want to get the job done. So we'll yeah, show you on the other side. That's what happened. But yeah, we'll show you how it goes down on the other side because we'll probably get to that another day. So probably the same video though. You think so? Might as well. I think we should just leave the other side how it is. Just go 50-50. Alright. Yeah, just a little nice mix. Best of both worlds. Just have one side shaved and one side looking like a a stock boy. A crusty trim. But yeah, even already, like when you close the door on this side, I mean even already, like that trim line is kind of weird. Versus not. I don't know. I think it's gonna look better, so does Noah, so. We're gonna get it done. Yeah, something, I, something I've always wanted to do, so I figured might as well just send it. Yeah, exactly. Oi. Oi, chap. We're sanding our life away currently. Yeah, so just like our last bodywork video, the night goes on and we forget to film and we're just kind of working away. But we're making progress and we have a lot of them sanded down. Like this one is like completely flat to the touch. This one needs a little more, but we're getting there. We're working our way through. And honestly, it's not very exciting. You probably don't want to see this process either way. So uh, yeah. we kind of more want to show you like how you can delete the trim. Basically, like, yeah, absolutely. Know, you guys probably know how to the main like kind of idea of like you know if you watch our last video of just filling the holes and bonding and sanding and whatever we yeah if you don't know how to bondo you. you can easily youtube it too it's it's super straightforward yeah. and simple it's basically you just slap the shit on your car and then sand it away so yeah. uh it's definitely not the most exciting content right now but we need to get it done so we're gonna continue getting it done and probably gonna keep filming some stuff here and there but uh yeah <laughs> um yeah we'll uh, we'll keep you posted when it gets all dry and we're on to paint all right <laughs> All right, guys, so we're about to start painting now, and of course, as you can see, it's dark because we only paint in the dark because we're hacks. That's just how you do things right. You paint yeah. in the dark, then you just don't know you don't know what you're doing you to can't, yourself. You so. can't see your mistakes if it's dark, I guess, right? So. Yeah, so perfect. So, of course, we're painting in the dark. Another uh, quick paint session. Mod Garage special. As we've said before, this car is going to get, like, redone, so we're kind of just temporarily fixing things. Yeah, we're just getting it, like, getting a lot of the hard work out of the way so that when it's ready for paint, you know, like, it's not going to take... An insane amount of time to fix everything we're just getting everything you know like the, the biggest time consuming part is welding all that shut and then yeah, now exactly. when i go for paint i'm not gonna have to do that so yeah so we're just saving ourselves a little bit of time and just fixing things temporarily so keep that in mind and uh we're gonna lay some paint and it's gonna be really bunk don't do this to your car unless you're in the same situation that we are <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so we got it all primed up here you can definitely see the line of primer but if you take a step back it looks so much better and just clean. Like, yeah, you can obviously see the paint right in there. I'd rather but, have it deleted with not perfect bodywork than have that junk, rusty trim that was like half falling off. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, like, it was falling off, and like water was, since it wasn't sealed perfectly anymore, water was literally leaking into the holes and rusting on the bottom of my door. So, like, that's junk. Yeah, I agree. And honestly, it looks so clean. Like, look at that side, and then look at this side. Like, I know what I'd rather have. Yeah, like, I don't know. I really dig this look. The shaved look. I think it looks sick. We just need to throw some paint on there, and uh, we'll be calling her a night, so we'll keep you updated. Peace out, and keep moving forward. And ride the wave. All right, what's up, guys? It's the next day. Um, it was kind of too dark to show you the final product, so I figured I'd just film a quick little outro, show you guys how it turned out, so yeah. Here it is. As you can see, you know, it's not perfect, which wasn't really my goal, but I think that looks a whole heck of a lot better than this side over here.
is there something you can do that really, really, really makes the car look a lot cleaner. So hopefully you guys learned something from this and maybe you guys can do this to your own integer. So yeah guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.